Hello, everybody. This is the Catholic Esquire. Wanted to talk to you today about some of the fallout you're starting to see or hear about from that document, Dignitas Sinfinita. I talked about the document last time. Since then, there's been a lot of discussion, especially on social media, in popular culture as well, about that document's statement on the death penalty. Basically, as I mentioned in my last video, this is an example of Francis effectively saying the death penalty is always wrong in every single circumstance because that's what the document says. Now, <clears throat> of course, this is a problem because this is not remotely what Catholics believe. This is not Catholic teaching. The document, in that sense, is teaching error, heresy. It's, it's just simply inaccurate statement of what Catholics believe, and yet this document teaches it and published it to the whole world, misleading millions of Catholics and misleading the rest of the world. It's a vile document for so many reasons, and this is just one of them. But I wanted to talk about the death penalty a little bit. You know, since the Second Vatican Council, it's been assumed or believed that, in fact, the Catholic Church is against the death penalty, that the teaching, the doctrine, is against the death penalty. And that's simply inaccurate. Now, I'm not going to go prove to you why that's inaccurate. There's plenty of information out there where you can see the true teaching of the Church on this subject. Um, Ed Fazer provides probably the best uh, articles and summaries of the Church's actual and true position on the subject. What I wanted to talk about today was why, why are the modernists so against the death penalty? Remember, there's always agendas here, my friends, with modernism. It's almost never what they tell you on the surface. It's not because they have some love for human dignity. They don't. It's because the death penalty is very much connected to their theology their philosophy, their ideology, and it's contrary to it. And I'm going to explain to you why right now. Remember, I've told you before this notion of Paschal mystery. I know you're going to get tired of me hearing, hearing me talk about this, but it's extremely important if you want to understand modernism. It's a distortion of the modern's view of Christ's work on the cross, what he was actually doing at Calvary. And as I've told you before, the modernist error here is that they're trying to remove the notion of sacrifice from Christ's work on the cross and simply replace it with a shallow notion of, oh, he just did it to show his love for us. But it's very important for them to remove this notion of sacrifice, sacrifice and redemption, meaning Christ having as a matter of justice, needing to pay that price for all of humanity because we could not otherwise satisfy that debt to God the Father ourselves due to our limited nature. Because remember, God is infinite, not man. Isn't that interesting? But stick with me here. If Christ's work was a matter of justice, how do modernists, in your view, treat the concept of justice? Think about that for a second. You've heard of social justice, right? So what is social justice to them? Well, it is true, Pius XI, Pope Pius XI, did discuss the concept of social justice. In other words, there is a social justice. The modernists took that term, especially in the 1960s, and turned it into something completely different. They use that term social justice now as a way to promote left-wing progressive political ideology. And in the process of doing so, they destroy the underlying real concept of justice. The classical subject, the classical definition of, of, of justice is paying what is due to another, what is due to another. That's justice. Christ had to pay that price for us to God because we could not otherwise pay it. It did not mean, it did not mean as a matter of justice, we did not owe something to God because we did. You know, our problem is because we're not infinite, 
because we're not infinitely worthy, because we're not infinitely powerful, we cannot pay that debt ourselves and only Christ as God and man to do it for us. That notion of sacrifice is systematically and has been systematically removed from the modernist notion, from the modernist ideology. And you see this play out with that notion of Paschal mystery I've talked about. You see this played out with the new mass. The new mass removes the concept of sin, uh, punishment, and satisfaction to God the Father for, for that sin as a sacrifice, removes that concept and replaces it with the Protestantized notion of fellowship, uh, shallow love, and uh, congregationalism or community. They also are doing this with the death penalty. Because what is the death penalty at its core? It's justice. It's retrib retributive justice. And the modernists know that. And they don't believe in justice. One of their primary goals and tenets of the modernist philosophy is to destroy the notion of justice and at, at minimum distort the concept of what justice is replacing it with this notion of left-wing social activism that they tell people, because this is what was contained in that document, Dignitas Finita, that you can achieve salvation through doing good works, regardless of what your religion is. That's what they are attempting to turn this notion of justice into, turning justice on its head. And so when you understand that, it makes total sense why they cannot accept the death penalty, because at its core, the death penalty is justice. And that's what the Catholic Church has always taught. You know, virtues, virtues, how important are virtues to St. Thomas Aquinas? Well, justice is a virtue, and they have to destroy it in order to change the church and in order to build up this new anti-church on top of the ruins of what they hope to be the smoldering embers of the old Catholic Church. I hope this made some sense. I hope you can see now why this issue of death penalty is so important to the modernists, especially those like Francis, who say there is no place ever under any circumstances for the death penalty, because it goes back to this desire and need to destroy the concept of justice which is a true Catholic doctrine, and it plays itself out, out through all aspects of the faith, including the Mass. Thank you for listening. Please share the video, subscribe to the channel. It really does help. And feel free to comment. I always look forward to reading the comments. They're always, well, most of them anyway, are, pretty, are really good. They are. Um, so thank you for that. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.